Hey guys, it's Coach Lemia here. Welcome to my channel. It's been a minute. I just wanted to, yeah, come and talk again. It's that time of the day. It's night time, actually. I don't know if you can hear the dog barking outside. I hope not. I really need to get a microphone. Okay, so I don't want to talk too loud. But anyway, so this video is about do you follow the voice of your soul? You know, that voice at the back of your mind. The one that always corrects you when you do the wrong thing or when you do the thing you're not supposed to do and you still do the wrong thing. And you don't know that's your soul trying to tell you something, which is your higher self. And you keep ignoring it. You get married. And then, it, yeah, anyways, let me not go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's jump straight to it okay now why i wanted to do this video was because i was inspired by i was reflecting about my life and i just became inspired because like <sighs> yeah my soul has been shifting me from left to right everywhere you know like basically it's funny how people don't really understand how it works because it goes like this you know how you have people who are church believers or people who believe in religions or whatever you know they believe like god is you know telling me to do this or that same thing your soul does that okay if you're a believer a religious person welcome doesn't matter but what i'm trying to explain here is that even if you so your soul has its own mission compared to your own goals so imagine if you're born here, yeah? you've been raised by your family, mum and dad, all that. And then you were like, oh, I think I love football. I'm going to become a football star, you know. And your soul <laughs> did not have that in plan for you. But you still follow your dream, right? So what happens is it causes something in the way. So what you would do is, let's say, you might become yeah, a football star, but like, not for a long period of time because it needs to give you like it's kind of like it doesn't completely deny what you want to do but it will let you know that you need to go from here to there that's why we have incidents we have things happening in our lives for a reason you know sometimes you can plan oh, i want to study this i might not get it i might get in i might this is the reason why things happen and if you're one of those people who believe everything happens for a reason, yes, it does. Because we all God's here. We are all souls here. We all have um, our own mission as to why we came to this place, you know. So um, even if, let's say, I just wrote some notes here. Like, did you know it doesn't care about your life? It does not care what you plan to do in this lifetime, the matrix doesn't care it can shift you even if you have if you're married with five six kids and if you're not meant to be doing that it would take you and put you in another place <laughs> and yeah it might bring a new husband to your ex-wife or vice versa or like even if you have billions in your bank account you might just cause something Someone might rob you and give that money to charity, hopefully. And like things like that. I mean, like, you know, I mean, I don't want to make it too crazy. But like, that's why it's important to listen to your soul. Um, focus on what it is that you're meant to do. And um, your soul will tell you, you know, if you're lost, especially. And you're just thinking, oh, I, should, I think I'm meant to be a doctor. And your soul's like, you're meant to change people's lives in different way, not being you know a doctor in your office you're meant to become a pastor i don't know a preacher motivational speaker like it takes you from where you need to be to where you're supposed to be you know so it will shift you to where you need to be basically it does not care you know that's why when people some people have this vision like um oh i'm meant to be married with these kids um and that okay that's good but if your soul's destiny was not to do that, guess what? You might be not married with no children or have children before you're married and then meet the person you're supposed to be with 30 years later or 20 years, 10 years, depending. So that's why it's really important to just not focus on 
oh i want to be this is this that's why you have to be in tune with your spiritual being your higher self and that way you will never be confused as to why things aren't working in your life or um you know just you'll be more calm you know once you do that that's why it's very important to go within always go within don't just be like you know that's it i've had it i've got it all figured out no you don't because your soul just keep taking you places no matter what you know okay well that's it i wanted to keep it nice and short okay guys see you till next time bye